Today I'm going to talk to you about swaying. Basically swaying occurs when I take my backswing that my hips move to the right too much and they move laterally too much to the left. When that occurs because my head is my center of my swing, if I move too much laterally this way, I'm going to tend to chunk the ball too much behind the ball or if I move too much laterally this way, I could do the same thing. I, could, I would not be able to make solid contact with the golf ball. In order to make an effective golf swing, you have to be able to be stable with your hips, but rotate your hips instead of sliding your hips side to side. So I've put these shafts here to help give me feedback when I am making my back turn. When I set up to hit this ball, I want to make sure on my backswing that my body rotates to the right and my hip gently turns to the right. I'm not again bumping this shaft. There's going to be feedback if you do bump that shaft. So I'm going to make my swing back with my upper body. Lower body stable. My hip doesn't bump that shaft on the back swing here and then equal on the forward side. When I go to strike this ball, I want to make sure that my body is leaning to the left or shifting to the left and then I want to make sure that my hips are turning out of the way instead of sliding out of the way. When you tend to slide, especially forward, your head tends to stay backwards and the divot will crash into the ground way before the ball. Your backswing, I'm turning my hips to the right. I'm, I'm stable and loaded and ready to hit this shot. Now I shift my weight, turn my hips, club is at impact there, and follow through. I like to tell my students to try to be tall to the wall. This shaft represents the wall for me. So when I finish my swing, I'm going to again shift and turn and when I finish my shoulders are over my left shoe and I'm tall to the wall. I didn't bump into the wall. If you want to make really solid contact, try this drill. Just stick two shafts in the ground and try to hit golf balls so that you don't hit either of these on the way back or on the way through.